Hello everybody, AOG Gaming here, back with another video on Mobile Legends Adventures. Um, we're basically trying to see how to break... Um, I forgot her name already. <laughs> Why am I forgetting her name? Uh, Eo Silvana, because her Realm Skill Level 4, Realm Skill 3 technically, when allies use shield reaches 50% of their average max HP, the Imperial Hawk will swoop down on the enemy with the lowest HP, dealing damage equal to 240 attack and ignoring defense and damage reduction. Skill takes effect at most once per second. Now, it's very hard to actually show this because you need to have weaker heroes. Not necessarily, but it needs to be balanced so that um, the shield you gain is not lost immediately so like it's lost immediately to 50% and it keeps doing that but you have to bring it above 50% because it's counting a used shield so it's very good the problem is that the shields go out real fast for the most part so the way you can mitigate this is atlas but sometimes he kind of he gives you a basically full HP shield on all your teammates. The problem is that um, he's not super reliable in that aspect because you can only really do it once. And Eel Sylvan herself has the ability to give shield to some of your heroes. And you can also use Sylvana. Um, there are a bunch of other characters that can also provide shield. So the thing is you want it to happen multiple times. And Atlas usually does it once or twice, but it's like AoE. Which is not very good. You kind of want it to be multiple times. So you'd probably get like four procs if you had Atlas on your team. The best team synergy with Io Silvana, like I said before, was um, Nyad Rafaela. Because her shield, her healing turns into shield. And it becomes a new shield every time she heals. So that in turn keeps procking the... Um, money and hawk or, or imperial hawk sorry keeps proccing the imperial hawk to attack the enemy with the lowest hp now you could probably use um what is it landslot there's hellkurt there is yushin there is oh saber there's a lot of other these characters that can just Go on the enemy team and deal a ridiculous amount of damage instantly, and um, they their shield gets uh, they take a lot of damage usually, so they have like some regen or some invincibility or some untargetability. That's kind of their thing, um, but most of the time they take a lot of damage. So if you have a shield on them actually and it keeps going above fifty percent, like there's a balance. So that's really the only way to break this, but it's really hard to break it. That's the problem. It's very situational, but. Yeah, it's cool. I don't have it there yet, but every three seconds, recover all allies' energy over time based on the ratio of their shield to max HP. When their shield exceeds their max HP, they reach the max energy region of 20%. So this is the part that I was trying to break, right? Well, guess what? I just mentioned two heroes that do that. So all you need is um, Eo Silvana and these two heroes. So you got Nide, Rafaela, and Atlas. So I, I'll review their skills later, but for now, we'll just do some gameplay, right? Um, yeah, I mean, we're going to have to, let's see if we win this. If not, we can go back and do the other battles because she is only seven star. Like I literally got three copies of her, but yeah, as you can see, the Hawk is actually procking pretty decently and it's fine because it's the boss battle. So <laughs> yeah, there it goes again. So it, it's really nice. And the energy region on my entire team is ridiculous. Oh wait, that's right. That's not her Hawk. That's her ultimate, but. That energy regen, she, she did her ultimate like five times. That was ridiculous. Um, I don't think we're really going to see it if I do the other battles, but uh, you know, why not? We'll check it out. We don't have to use Atlas, right? Yeah, so I, we have to. So, <laughs> Which is fine, but uh, it kind of sucks for this part because, yeah, the energy regen is ridiculous though. That's the only way to break her at like... I guess, well, does she get it uh, at a 7 star or does she have it at her base 6 star? If she gets it at a base 6 star copy, then that means 
She's just broken. What more can I say? Disgusting. So yeah, so we get the shield basically instantly from Atlas, and then Night Raffaella is always healing it. And yeah, I mean, it's ridiculous. Look how much energy regen is on my team. Like, there's an atrocious amount of it. <laughs> Um, all right, that was all the battles. So it really is more of a skill based thing because I have to let me put this up a little bit. I have to explain it to y'all, and I don't have those characters at the right level, but I can explain how you can break them in different ways. And uh, yeah, this is doing the legend stuff because, uh, like I said, I have well, yesterday I said I have four days left until I can get another copy. Or I have limited time. Based. Let me restart that sentence. My English is horrible, as always. I'm thinking as I'm speaking, and that's not the best thing to do. You got to think before you speak. So I only have three days left until I can get enough copies of Nye Raffaella to max her out. I realized to awaken the hybrid hero, you need four copies. So it is actually a little bit harder. But... Every every other copy is only two, so it's still it's still gonna work in my favor afterwards. So after that, I think it's only two copies, which is amazing that they decrease it. But maybe they changed it in an update. I don't know, so I, I have to see. See if we get her. Nope, we got not a single epic hero. <laughs> well, that's pretty much uh, RNG for you. RNG for the masses, you know. I do have a lot of fusion stuff, so. But yeah, so um, let's go to the heroes that we just talked about. So how to break Geo Silvana. So more importantly, it's a realm skill because that is like the new skills that the, these legendary heroes have. You have to make the hero reach 8 star in order for them to unlock the actual skill. But level 1, realm skill 1, you just have it at a base copy. So this is still a pretty broken ability. Like, that is ridiculous. Because, again, like I said, Atlas. So, we're only going to go over that skill for now, and we'll come back to Eo Silvana. But all you need to know is level 1 skill, and then the level 4 skill, her realm skill 3, is insanely good. <laughs> um, But, again, that one takes a little bit... It, it's definitely... You're able to proc it a lot if you face a really strong team. But, again... It also depends on how you build your team. And if you don't have Atlas, then it might be a little bit easier. But, you know, it, it also depends on how you build your team. So I will come back to her for her other skills. Um, All right. So here we have, I guess, Nai Rafaela. Because I was just talking about her. So I've gone over a lot of her skills, but... Basically, the main one is this one. or in, Well, this is one of them. So this is the second one, not the main one. So increases all allies received healing and shield by 12%. Applies to her and other characters. So think about the shield. That's why I said Atlas is so broken with this. This is a full, H, full another bar of health. It's ridiculous. And uh, when allies with shields are attacked, they gain 80% damage triggered energy regen Based on damage taken. Excuse me, what? So, that in itself is ridiculous. Because think think about this again. Alice will be on your team. He'll give your team an entire HP bar of shield. Then they will gain the 80% damage triggered energy regen. The thing is, though, not only are they getting... Uh, uh, there's other stuff. It increases it by more... Um, which is just like even better. It just makes your team last longer. But it also can screw with your balancing on getting that uh, trigger off of Eel Silvana. So keep that in mind. But why I say that energy 80% damage triggered energy region is ridiculous. is because Eel Silvana herself, right? Eel Silvana herself recovers all allies energy over time. Based on the ratio of shield to max HP. When their shield exceeds their max HP, they reach the max energy region of 20. Does this mean it only caps out at 20? I guess this is just a way to guarantee to get to that 20, no matter what. 
because you definitely their shield <laughs> their shield exceeds their health most of the time or it is as much as their health I, I it's weird that it says exceeds their max hp but it's pretty easy to do when you got uh nye rafaela and atlas and yeah so that was nye rafaela's skills very broken she's got other hills so that's the second part the first part though is the fact that this has a passive her ultimate but it's part of her entire kit when nye rafaela's skills provide healing to allies 100 percent of excess healing is converted into shield so this is the main part that ties in with atlas's shielding with his ultimate because they both cast their ultimates very quickly so nye rafaela when she gets two four 200 or 240 energy i forgot and um atlas he activates it instantly it's just a shield which is insane so here's the other part right she increases their amount of healing so to increase their shield over time increases all their healing so she's just going to give them a lot of healing which is pretty much what i said but um i mean there's other stuff right so what other parts in her kit so i knew there was other stuff that was like these three characters are such disgust like it's just broken um they gain defense equal to 100 percent of Ra nine rafael's defense which is insane like she has a decent amount of defense while connecting to allies increases the received healing to 85 percent gain a hundred percent of each other's damage triggered energy region so again another part of her skill that is just guaranteeing that max energy region of 20 with Eel Sylvana. So these two characters, I mean, you probably don't need Atlas. Atlas is probably just like the the little cherry on top that makes this work like bread and butter. But you can use other heroes, and I will show you some examples of that. So again, I'm talking about both Eel Sylvana and Nide Rafaela. I said when Nide Rafaela came out that with Eel Sylvana, they are both just disgusting. So... <laughs> And now that Nide Rafael is like out and people have her actually built, like I'm seeing this in the game more and more. So this is just something I have to mention because it's it's really good. It actually works really well. Um Yeah, I mean then that's pretty much it. I think this oh it's the time six sometimes messes me up. She does increase your and oh and she makes them gain energy. Okay, so Nide Rafael is just like the main unit. <laughs> so you probably, that, that's what I mean. So you, and also, um, Eo Silvana, because she has those triggers. Because, uh, e Nide Rafaela will already give you a full health shield for the most part, and it'll be above your health or up to your health for the most part, unless you're facing a really strong team. And then you'll probably go below 50% shield, but you also trigger Eo Silvana's, uh, eagle. So again, there's also that thing where, like, they work so well together. It's just, amazing it's almost like they planned it right <laughs> um yeah so it increases their attack by a lot and also the 200 points of energy is when you already have a 20 energy gain every second by the way that's um 50 seconds for them to gain their ultimate that's if they have zero energy but they already gained the plus 200 and then there's other skills in the there's also Eo Silvana giving them energy because of the shield. So there is a ridiculous amount of energy regen going on. All right, so now we go to Atlas. Um, and I'm actually happy I did get him recently to 6-star, I believe. Yes. I can't actually use him. I was using him in his uh, story. His, uh, what do they call it? Ritual Miracle? Not the Ritual Miracle. The uh, I'll go back to it. I'm thinking this light. Sorry. <laughs> so... Issues a shockwave at the enemy with the highest attack, dealing 400 of his attack to it, and all enemies and shockwaves pass, knocking them airborne. Okay, so it's not his ultimate. I apologize. It is one of his skills, though. Reduces enemies' attack by 25%. What? Yeah, he's he's going to be really broken. Um, Is it his passive, then? So he doesn't give a shield to his entire team. I guess that was Eo Sylvanas thing then. I'm so confused. I, I guess that's all Nide Rafaela then. So 
the reason I say Atlas is good is because he's an, he's one of the heroes that is a tanky, so he'll also just survive as well. Um, when he's in the front line with Eos Silvana, he will just survive really well. Plus, he's gonna gain a lot of shields. And um, I mean, he steals defense. Yeah, I guess you don't need. Uh, I guess it's just Nide Raphael and Eel Silvana, am I right? A hybrid, two hybrid heroes together. What else is new? That what else is new in the game? <laughs> like uh, Mech Mechalela and um, I forgot her other name, but they're also broken. Like two hybrid heroes together that are broken. That's that. That's what's in the game. Um, I mean, it, it's like two character combos that you built a team around and it just makes them broken. I have done that. I have Astaria, Sipra, and uh, Nide Raphael on my team and I use that as a tank comp with Nana. Yeah, it's a... Uh, <laughs> I mean, hybrid heroes are kind of the, the game. Like, if you don't have a hybrid hero built, especially a support one that's, like, really good for your team, you're not going to be able to push as far which is why I say focus on the light element because it is literally the best element to summon heroes. Um, all right, so let's go over some more shielding heroes. So where was... Um... I think it might have been... No, Kagura doesn't give you shield. Where is this person? The, the owl dude. I forgot his name. Let's be higher up. Oh, yeah, Diggy. <laughs> Diggy. So, um, build equal to 295% of his attack and a 25% defense bonus. Like, that is just. Because guess what? Nide Rafaela <laughs> is going to share her defense with your allies, I think. That's what the skill said, right? Like, again, there is so much synergy in this game that you can find. It's ridiculous, but it's so cool and fun. Like, it's just. This is why I love this game. They don't have pity on their gacha either. That's because they give you heroes. Like, think about this. This is the one thing I haven't mentioned in this game. Is why it's so, still so great without having a pity system. Other than the uh, when they release the new heroes. But that's 4,500 diamonds, which takes a while to grind. Even for me. Um, and it's a pity that increases. So, like, you get less and less you have to draw more in order to get to that hero pity. So it 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 kind of sucks, but it's not bad because the amount of heroes you get from story mode, just like in general from like grinding, all the materials you get from the shards, and also the free heroes they just give you once in a while. Like, And sometimes they give you a lot of free heroes. They give you up to like four copies. And by they gave us a lot. So it's this thing where the game gives you a lot of free stuff, which is why... It feels a lot better than a lot of other games just to play. Because even if you're returning, even if you're old, even if you've been playing every single day, you get that burst and it happens pretty often in this game. And it's insane. It has slowed down a little bit because they have been releasing their legendary heroes. However, they just fixed kind of that with Bai. And she's also one that you can build the entire game. So now you just have a free order hero you can build. Like they just give it to you for playing the game and getting VIP. And you can increase that VIP by paying. So, of course, whales are going to get all that free stuff as well. Um, yeah, like, it's just, it's just insanely good. So, let's go back to that. Um, what was I looking for? It's the defense one, right? What's it? And gain defense, you go to 100% of Nide Raphael's defense, right? So, that's going to be very good with Dougie because he's – Diggy, sorry. Is he, Dougie, I said. Because <laughs> he's going to increase uh, your your team's defense bonus by 25%, and that'll just be ridiculous. That is disgusting. All right, allies with storage HP equal to 20% of his attack per second while the shield is on. I don't know if his shield is... Um, is that just shield or his shield? While the shield is on, while shield is active, I, I, it's such weird weirding. That's what I'm saying. So I have to test this out as well. So, um, yeah, if someone has a max that account, like I would love to make videos on these heroes. Like, they they are just so cool. So you will also gain HP. So that there's a lot of more synergy again with a Diggy and a Nide Rafaela and Io Silvana. 
It's mostly her skill one, but her skill two can still be broken. Her skill one is ridiculous. I don't think people realize having her on your team and just 20 max energy regen plus there's this new thing I unlocked, right? I just want to show y'all. Uh, they're called glory gems. It happens when you uh, get a hero above awakened level two. So that's only basically you awaken them and then you go to level two. Then you can equip these stones to them. And what it does is it actually scales the amount of energy they gain per turn. So my Nyad Raphael is gaining 20, that's 25 plus energy per turn. Um, and then she's got some Fortitude and Fatal Strike, which I'm assuming counterpose each other, maybe. So I haven't looked too much into it, but it's still really cool. Uh, but again, that just increases the amount of energy your team is gaining. Like it is ridiculous. That's just his ultimate, right? We haven't even gone over his other skills. So he's going to heal your allies. He increases their defense. 300% of attack. Okay, yeah, so he's just going to heal with that. He's going to stun as well. That's pretty cool. Oh, he's going to give you 20% reduction with time trip or reverse time, which is this one. 20% reduction. Okay, that's kind of ridiculous. Oh, he restores 20 points of energy when the allies he's healing take damage. Oh my, it's up to 40%. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. This hero, these two skills. So Young Again and Time's Journey. Together make the hero kind of broken. These don't really matter, but they do heal, keep your team alive. And um, do some stun duration. So maybe you can take Nana out. I had Nana in my team for extra healing. So maybe you could add her, add uh, him. Because think think about this again. The more healing you have on your team, the less Nide Rafaela has to work to keep the shield above or equal to the max HP of your team, which means that their energy region could be less just because Eos Silvana's um, trigger only triggers every third three seconds and it's 20, 20 energy or whatever, which is ridiculous a second. <laughs> so yeah, you just have to keep that in mind. But again, this character it is really good on that synergy as well. So you could have him, Atlas, Eos Silvana. Um, the thing is, Nyad Raphael and he, and Atlas don't really work that well because Atlas kind of just has shield all the time as a result. <laughs> okay, um, does Angela give shield? Um, I don't think she does. I mean, she restores the full energy, which is ridiculous, but yeah, that's this is not what I'm looking for. Um, I, Is that it? I'm pretty sure there's more than just those two heroes that can break her, but pretty much those two go so well with Nide Raphaela's skill. And of course, you need Nide Raphaela. <laughs> so it might be a Nide Raphaela video, but like I, again, have just unlocked this. This is the hero that I've been working on. I'm going to awaken her. I need one more copy. I need one more copy. I'm so close. See if we get her. Nope, we got a hail done. Um, yeah, so we have three copies of her. So close. We probably will get Mechalela's copy as well. We have 25 days for that, so we won't worry about it for now. And Eel Savon, a legendary emblem assigned to an owner through Eternal Oath. I guess I need another one to get her to 8 star. But yeah, so close for that 9 Raphaela. And honestly, I could get it afterwards, but... I guess I could just keep drawing for the lights, but that no, that that that's just too much tantalizing. Like I could just speed up the progress. Okay, so I can upgrade a hero. Think uh on the battlefield, I, I can upgrade you, okay. So I'm not using Guinevere, so I won't upgrade her, but I'll probably upgrade you then. Okay, cool. Nice. Um, all right, what else was I going to do? Should I enhance her thing when she takes the damage? I mean, yeah, that seems kind of broken. Okay, so I already got a level 3 for um, 
what's her name? Astaria Cipra. So as you can see, I maxed out her wishing crystal. Not technically, there's probably still more, but now I can do Ancient Twilight, so that'll be nice. And uh, yeah, that, that's uh, my, like, look at this, look at this. I'm going to say it's sexy. <laughs> Astaria Cipra. Not just because she is looking attractive, but the gear that I have on her is so nice. It's l perfectly balanced between light and dark. It's just oh, so clean. And uh, her skin is really nice too, but not not talking about her literal skin. I'm talking about this, this skin in the game. It's an alternate skin to her original look. Um, Yeah, so these attributes are really good. So I'm going to keep these for her this way because I really like the balance between light and dark. It just looks so cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, she's, she's really well built. She is strong as f I'm going to say that because she, she will either increase my team's damage by a lot or keep my team alive and let them deal their damage and just be disgusting. So yeah, I'll max out Freya first with her soul vessel. Oh, that's what it's called, right? <laughs> I have to remember all the names for these things in different games. Then I'll probably go for Esmeralda. Because she does become immune to energy reduction. And I think that'll just make her more solid. Um, I probably don't need your... I mean, I guess it's more damage. I'll do Nide Raphaela's later once I awaken her. And uh, yeah, after that I'll go for Nana's. Because really, really it's just an increase in damage reduction, right? Yeah, or... Oh, 30% damage increase. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Okay. But, uh, yeah, so I just wanted to mention that's how you break her. That was a little bit of an account review. <laughs> just, just putting that in there for y'all. And, yeah, thank you, everybody, for watching. As always, like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content. Keeps you up to date. Helps me out. Um, 132 subscribers this time I checked. So y'all are amazing. Keep going. And um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. There is a lot of fun stuff in this game. And I am just getting started. So I have been grinding. I haven't been making a lot of videos on this game because they, uh, they did add some stuff, right? So I do have to also go look at that. So before we end the video, it's me prematurely ending a video. So I do believe if you go to Sacred Oath. Oh, they still haven't added her? Isn't the 16th already? Hmm. Didn't they? Oh, wait, it's the latest by the 20th or something. Okay, so they're still doing something with the balancing then because they haven't added her to the... Uh... So if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, so we go to events. Uh... So here it says, oh, this is the other new notes. No, oh, it's a new uh, Mirage Legend. So where is the uh, patch notes that I wanted to see? Okay, so I also have to mention that there's a new mystical invitation. This is such a cool banner right here. Or just like an info, information uh, board. This is such a cool layout. Okay, so everyone who's past chapter 10. That'll probably be most people unless you haven't played the game for more than a day. Um, once the event begins, you only need to complete one invitation for any exclusive skins to unlock a half price discount for all skins in this year's Gachapon Shop. So very good for people for whales because uh, skins are actually super useful. They are giving us a decent amount of tokens. So this is actually a very good time to do this because everyone who has tokens should just save them for now. Uh, we did have, I believe there was already like a place where you can get skins. So like you can just use the tokens, right? You need a hundred of them um, when they have the sale, right? Uh, well, now it's 300, but it was a hundred when you could get one. Um, so again, I think it might be something similar to this. I have to see, but uh, yeah, very cool. Skins do help your account by a lot, by the way. And some of them are actually pretty cool. So 
most of them are. They do a really good job on that, and I really like that. They made skins an actual thing rather than just being pretty visuals, which I really hate. Like, yeah, it's, it's cool that they're making the skin, but it really does nothing if you have to pay for it no matter what because it's just for visuals. But if you go to uh, skins, right? This skin actually gives me a decent amount of stats, and so does this. This skin, the, the, her base, the base skins don't have any attributes, so actually this is a pretty good increase to my... That's a damage increase, interesting. Agility is better. And then they give a little uh, backstory, so yeah, pretty cool. Um... So yeah, what, what I was talking about is they haven't added... Uh, they were going to add Achilles Alice to the Sacred Oath um, by the 6th or during the 16th or up. I, I did a video on it. I have to go check again. But uh, yeah, it was my last two videos, one of those two videos on, on Mobile Legend Adventures, um, which was about the patch notes and the game itself and all that stuff. So yeah. They were going to add Achilles Alice to the, well, the starting today, I think the latest is the 20, the 20th or something, October 20 something, um, like 23rd or 22nd. So they have, they're, they're, they're running out. I don't know what's the problem with just adding her to the sacred oath. Cause it's still 5,000. So it still costs as much as like, it should be the same chances that you get for the eternal oath. That you do for the Sacred Oath. Because again. You are pulling. For that one hero. In the Sacred Oath as well. And it costs the same amount of diamonds. Yeah it's a 2% chance. And you've got all this other stuff as well. So. I, I, I don't see the problem. Like it should be the same chance. As all the other heroes as well. So. I don't know. I don't know. Well. That's going to be it. I do apologize for doing that outro pretty early. But uh, yeah, so we're close to getting 4,500 again. Just giving you guys the last notes for the video. And uh, we're going to be collecting our Nide Raphaela, no matter what. That last copy of her. If we can get one copy of her just in the next 10 something would be amazing. But if not, then we'll just grind for the last copy. And if we get another copy of her there... That'll be amazing. I'll just have a, an extra Nide Raphaela copy, and I just need one more to bring her up to, to st or awaken level two. So, real nice. As always, thank you everybody for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video.